This video will look at adding a fixed asset into Business Central where you wish to account for a salvage value. So first off, what does a salvage value do? For example, you might have an asset that has an acquisition cost of $10,000 and you want to apply a straight line depreciation rate of 10%. That means you'll get an annual depreciation of $1,000 against the asset or $83.33 per month. A salvage value represents a value that you believe the asset will be worth at the end of its life. You can record a salvage value against the acquisition journal within Business Central and the impact that has is that for the same asset with an acquisition of $10,000 but we're recording a $1,000 salvage value, over that same life of the asset we will get an annual depreciation of $900. The asset will still depreciate over that full period of 10 years just at a reduced amount annually and therefore on a monthly basis. In this video's demo, we'll create the acquisition journal, including a salvage value, review the ledger entries as a result of that journal, and we'll post the depreciation to see the impact that the salvage value has. Let's go to Business Central and take a look. If I go to my fixed assets, I've got some fixed assets in here that I haven't yet acquired. I'm going to use the hangar equipment asset. Let's have a quick look at the setup. And for my accounting book, I've got this set to have a 10% straight line depreciation method. To the fixed asset GL journal. I'll do it for the 1st of May. Adding to the fixed asset and fixed asset number five. And acquisition for 10,000. The salvage value field you will probably have to bring onto your journal. It isn't there by default and you do that by using your personalized option and selecting the field in. So I'm going to record a salvage value of $1,000. Salvage values are recorded as a negative. Insert my fixed asset balance account and I can post the journal. Go back to the asset. We can see it's been acquired and if we pop down to the depreciation box, the depreciation book menu and go to the ledger entries. What happens is you can see there's an acquisition cost entry for the full 10,000 amount and then you have a salvage value entry of minus 1,000. The book value of the asset still shows as $10,000 but the depreciation is based on that acquisition less salvage. Calculate the depreciation. Going to do it as of the end of May. And just for asset number five. Open the journal. And we can see that we've got $75 as the monthly depreciation amount. So quick calculation, 900 divided by 12 gives you 75. So it's depreciating it at that lower rate. If this video answered your questions on salvage values, please hit the like. Subscribe to receive updates for when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.